to see Mercy. Clara was feeling shy. Her parents had left her at Grandma's house for the day. She rarely met her grandma and was nervous about spending a whole day alone with her. Well, sweetheart, I need to do some work in the garden. Do you want to come? Grandma said. Clara nodded and followed her grandma out into the most beautiful flower garden she had ever seen. Birds were singing, bees humming and the scents were heavenly. Sit on the stool, Grandma said, as she pottered around chatting to her flowers. Look how beautiful you are today and your petals are sublime. They have bloomed magnificently. Pansy dear, you don't look so well today. Allow me to take a closer look. They can't hear you, you know. Clara suddenly blurted out as she placed her hands under her thighs and swung her legs continuously. Of course they can. The flowers have a secret language all of their own. Clara watched her grandma move from rose to lily, daffodil, on and on. It must be clever to know all the names of the flowers, she thought. Grandma was making a small bouquet, arranging flowers carefully. Grandma, have you always loved flowers? Clara asked. Yes, I have, ever since the time I met Grace in school. I was in fourth grade and she was the new girl. She didn't speak much, but each day she would bring a small hand bouquet of flowers and place them in the hole in her desk usually used as an inkwell. Each day different flowers and as I was sitting beside her I enjoyed the scents. One day I asked her about the flowers. She got excited and said you must understand flowers language for they can teach you the magic of bliss. She made me very curious. I laughed as she had the most charming smile and dancing eyes. Then she touched her flowers gently and said, This is my Tusi Musi. Your what? Tusi Musi, a small bouquet of flowers with messages encoded in the language of flowers. Really? Then what does today's Tusi Musi say? Grace's face lit up and she said, Flowers that incline to the left represent me and those inclining to the right are messages to you. I was intrigued indeed. Today, leaning toward you are astromerias, devotion and friendship, and apple blossoms, good fortune. Towards me are lily of the valley, for a return to happiness, and zinnias, thoughts of absent friends. How beautiful, I said. You must miss your friends from your other school. Yes, I do. Well, today I do, she smiled. We became inseparable, and I learned the flower language from her. Even now, I can't help smiling, as after an argument she would bring a tusimusi of yellow carnations for disappointment, and cyclamens for it's over, goodbye. We were both very stubborn at times. Then the next day she would have three chrysanthemums to express truthfulness, three daffodils to express respect, and six purple hyacinths to say sorry. She would place it in my inkwell and wait silently for my reaction. We would hug and vow for a lifetime friendship. Grace suffered from asthma, and in our days there was no effective medication to control this malady. She passed away from this world at age 12. I was heartbroken. I never forgot the language of flowers, and I make a tusimusi every day. This one is for you. Clara took the beautiful bouquet and closed her eyes to feel the scent. Grandma smiled. This is a kala lily, 
magnificent beauty, a camellia, perfect loveliness, and Queen Anne's lace for fantasy. They are beautiful, Grandma. Will you teach me the language of flowers? Of course I will, my love. Clara spent many weekends with her grandma and eventually opened her own flower shop. She married and had three girls. They all learned the flowers language. Her oldest daughter became a dress designer, famous for inserting the secret language of flowers into her designs. The second daughter became a baker and made cakes for all occasions. Yes, you have guessed it. All kinds of flowers adorned them. And Clara's youngest daughter became world famous for a chain of Tusimusi shops. The customer walks in, fills out a form of wishes, and a small Tusimusi is immediately made up. Now, even in her old age, Clara never forgot that morning with her grandma, and often she gets up at dawn, sits out in her beautiful garden, closes her eyes, and can still hear grandma talking to the flowers. <laughs>